So the really great news and the exciting thing is that this is the first of the Restoring Your Railway projects to go live and that hasn't happened by accident. That's because when the government stepped forward and said we're really serious about levelling up different parts of the country, particularly outside of London and the South East, we were ready to go. We'd done all the hard yards over many, many years. So that was input from local campaigners, myself, going back 10 years now. Government ministers over the years, also GWR, uh, Network Rail, all of these organisations pulling together to bring us to the point that we are at today, which is that we've got our railway. Well, what it means to me personally to see the, see the line re-established is um, a culmination of 13 years work, but also I don't just do it for myself, I do it for the community. And people say, Michael, why have you continued and persisted? My answer is because it's the community that I want to see this railway service return for. We've worked in close partnership with GWR Network Rail and that's meant that we've had a really close compact where we've all got exactly the same aims and ambitions. This was done at a great pace to get this reopened. It shows we can do it. It shows that when everybody's on the same journey with the same aims in life, what you can achieve. It has been an incredible achievement. Well, I think bringing communities back onto the rail network is, is a really important part of, of supporting those communities, helping them grow, but it also, also puts Oakhampton back on the national map, and that's, that's really important.